All right, before the video starts, I just wanted to mention that I just searched the title of the video on YouTube and I saw that Star Wars Theory has made a similar video as well, but it was no intentional to imitate him or something because only after the production of this video here, I searched the title of the video on YouTube, so um, so I didn't do this on purpose or something. Anyways, my version is completely different and the story tells of my view of things, so the content of the video is completely different. All right, enjoy. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees? With this sentence, the downfall of the Jedi Order and the Republic began. Because of ki Mundi's statement, Yoda traveled to Kashyyyk to defend the Wookiees from impending attack by a Separatist droid army. When Chancellor Palpatine learned about this, he knew that Yoda wouldn't be at the Jedi Temple. He knew that the moment he had long waited for had arrived. Four Jedi tried to arrest him afterwards, but in vain. He was too powerful and managed to kill all the Jedi, except for one, Mace Windu. He used him as a bait to pull Anakin Skywalker to the dark side. Anakin Skywalker became Darth Vader and the day Palpatine was waiting for his whole life arrived. He gave orders to all the clones to wipe out the Jedi and sent Anakin Skywalker, who was now named Darth Vader, on his way to the Jedi Temple. The mission was clearly defined and meant no Jedi must survive. So Anakin went into the temple and killed every single Jedi. Since there were not many experienced Jedi in the temple, he was not stopped and could easily carry out the order of his new master Darth Sidious. But what if someone else had gone to help the Wookiees and Yoda stayed at the Jedi Temple? Well, the answer to this question is simple. Palpatine most likely would have waited to intervene until Yoda was some other time away from the Jedi Temple. Well, therefore the whole theory wouldn't make sense at all, right? But what if Yoda had sensed Palpatine's dark presence and secretly set a trap for him? What if Yoda had only pretended to be away, but was actually hiding at the Jedi Temple? How would the scenario have played out? Well, from here on I just wanted to mention that it's my view of things and uh, my interpretation of how the whole thing might have turned out. Alright, let's start from the time of the Chancellor's arrest. This situation remains unchanged. Chancellor Palpatine kills the four Jedi and pulls Anakin to the dark side. Yoda was previously informed by Mace Windu that the Chancellor was the Sith Lord they've all been looking for. But to prevent the worst, Yoda decided to stay in the Jedi Temple to protect the younglings and Padawans. He felt that the dark side was stronger than ever. So the time had come and Palpatine appointed his old companion Anakin Skywalker as his new apprentice, Darth Vader, and instructed him to wipe out all the Jedi. Order 66 has been carried out and Yoda must watch as hundreds of Jedi lose their lives fighting against the 501st. For these came in from all sides of the Jedi Temple and were unstoppable. He instantly realized that he had to follow the priorities of the Jedi Code and first informed Jedi Master Joe Castanu, the librarian, to encrypt all Jedi directories. After that, only one thing mattered to him, the future of the Jedi Order, the Younglings. Sensing that the majority of Younglings were hiding in the Jedi Council Room, he pushed his way through the gunfire of the 501st. Clone by clone, he struck them all down until he reached the top of the tower. The Younglings were all unharmed and alive. Now it is up to him to protect the future of the Jedi. Yoda sends great losses throughout the galaxy and in the Jedi Temple, but he alone could not save them all. He was not powerful enough. He had to live with the fact that all the Jedi who died outside the Jedi Council chambers were fully or at least partially trained and must be able to protect themselves. All of a sudden he felt a familiar presence, someone so strong in the Force that he could recognize him with a flash of his mind. It was Anakin Skywalker making his way through the Jedi Council. He walked down the lower corridor, pushing his way through the Jedi. He killed every single one, as he did so. Every step Anakin took, Yoda could feel in the Force. Every move Anakin made was reflected clear as glass before Yoda's eyes. The former Jedi Knight's yellow eyes lit up brightly and he has made his way to the elevator into the Jedi Council chamber. Yoda informs the frightened younglings to hide behind the chairs, which they eventually do. So Anakin has arrived at the top of the tower and stops in front of the door. He senses the presence of Master Yoda and seems shocked. How could the Jedi Grandmaster be here? Wasn't he sent on a mission on Kashyyyk? Did the Jedi keep this from him? Palpatine hadn't told him about the 900 year old Jedi Grandmaster's presence. How could all this be? He decided to quell this Jedi determination for a brief moment and reluctantly made contact with Palpatine. Have you wiped out all the Jedi, my apprentice? Anakin said, yes, but there is a problem you've not told me about, Master. The Jedi Grandmaster, Yoda, is here in the temple. Are you certain? We must act quickly. Station as many clones as you can at his location and come back to me in my office. From there we must realign our strategy. Lord Vader, it seems we have been deceived. The Jedi are proving more and more to be our enemy. Just as Anakin is about to turn back, the door behind him opens and there stands Yoda. Anakin turns around and looks the Jedi Grandmaster in the face with his yellow eyes. If so powerful you are, why leave? 
and the king yells to him. This is the end for you, master. The other replies to him. Faith in Darth Sidious misplaced me be. As is your faith in the dark side of the force. Anakin's emotions spiral out of control as he attacks the Jedi Grandmaster, pushing him all the way back into the Jedi Council Chamber. The green and blue lightsabers clash at such a rapid pace that the younglings only see a flickering light. Yoda tells Anakin, One step further you go, no return for you there is. Anakin tells him, I see through the lies of the Jedi. Hmm, clouded your mind has become. Anakin tells Yoda, They're dead, every single one of them. I killed them all. And I slaughtered them like animals. Yoda drops his lightsaber to the ground. Hearing the statement from Anakin's own mouth confirmed his worst fears and force visions. He is visibly shaken. Anakin lunges for a deadly force blast and shoots it towards Master Yoda at a speed similar to the speed of light. But Yoda forms both hands into a ball and deflects it back at Anakin, who is then thrown out of the Jedi chamber, out of the tower. He falls all the way down, and while he's falling, he's unable to control his force powers since he never experienced something that mighty and powerful. While falling, his final thoughts remain on Padme and the unborn child, until he hits the ground and dies. In the following hours, Obi-Wan returns to Coruscant, and together with Yoda, they capture Palpatine, who is then sentenced to life imprisonment. Obi-Wan couldn't believe what Anakin had done, and so he decided to leave the Jedi Order within the upcoming days. Well, either way, there is no good outcome for this story. Both ways end without a happy end. Let me know what you thought of this theory, and it would be very nice if you could like the video, since this was an enormous effort to prepare and write. Thank you all for watching, and may the force be with you.